Welcome to the third episode in this series of uh, road building. So in this episode and the last episode, we are talking about uh, thread your guides and also epoxy rod finish, uh, attaching the tip top and other stuff. So see you in there. Now it's time to wrapping the guides and also preparing for that. So in front of me I have a stand because now you need something to hold your rod. Uh, so first thing I have prepared some masking tape. So I put it like this. So now the rod and the blank is in place. So uh, after that you cut a number of small pieces of masking tape around 5 mm wide. It's because uh, to hold the guides in place I use the masking tape on the right side of the guides and starting uh, wrapping the guides from the left side. You also need two to three pieces of white thread about 15 cm long. So, um, I will show you in the step where you need them. Uh, you also need a razor blade uh, or scissors. Um, and of course, the guides. Yeah. Also, one thing the bobbin. Uh, with, I, I will use black thread for this rod. So, I put it in a hole I have already made uh, with a scissor and just like this and then I start wrapping the guides. Before starting wrapping I want to show you my technique I use um, and I will start doing that with a little thicker thread. So I think we just head into it and bring up the music and let me show you how to do it.
have the rod in front of me and now we have uh, wrapping the guides and now it's time for wrapping the ends of each blank. Now it's time to attach the tip top and it's really easy, you just use the epoxy glue uh, and try to use a toothpick to, uh, to glue it. Applying epoxy rod finish is on the menu now, so in front of me I have the epic rod turner, I have the blank in front of me, the guides are aligned, so and I have also used alcohol to take away uh, the marks that you used from the marking pen. So now it's the first finish uh, I will do. And for that I have the epoxy. So, and I will dilute it with the alcohol. So uh, one third of this, one third of that and one third of alcohol and I use 1.5 milliliters for each. I also have a, a, a siring for the alcohol. So now we do that. Uh, you should also have um, the epoxy not too cold. You should have it at least 21 degrees. Just like this. And then I will mix it for five minutes, but you don't have to be around for five minutes. So I come back when five minutes has gone. Five minutes has gone. So now I use a bit of aluminium foil to put the, the epoxy in. This is just to, to avoid air bubbles. Yeah. So now it's fine and now we start uh, doing the applying epoxy for the rod. And you start the guide foot and towards the center of the guide. Also the winding check you should uh, use uh, finish on, so let's do that. Now you do the second epoxy rod finish. And this time you do not dilute it, you just take 50% of uh, each, so uh, that's a second epoxy rod finish. Now the rod building is done and I'm so 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 happy and next week I'm going out there and I'm going to... Uh, I'm not Harry Potter but uh, it looks like it. But I'm going out there and uh, try to catch some sea trout and maybe a review on the, on the rod itself later. So let's see that. But now I'm out. Mm -hmm.